Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this procedure at one level in Blender. First let's hit Shift A and add a plane and an icosphere. Set the subdivisions to 4 and shades move. Now scale the icosphere down like this and move it up. Add a camera. Go into top view and with the plane selected press delete on the numpad and control alt zero. Select the camera and press G set. Now let's scale this down even more. Select all of the objects and make sure that the plane is selected last. Go into side view and let's rotate it like this. I'm doing this so that we can get some nice lighting from the HDI. By the way, you can find the HDI for the link in the description. Now go to shading and select the icosphere. And now shift select the plane. And again shift select the icosphere and press Ctrl L. Link materials. Go into rendered view. You can use Eevee for this, but I'm going to use Cyclus. First let's set a color ramp. Put it here and plug it into the base color. Make the black a dark brown, like this for example, and make the white a yellow, like this, maybe not so dark. Now let's add a mix RGB, plug the color into the factor and duplicate the mix RGB two times. Now here take the color and plug it into the factor and color 1. And for this one let's plug it into color 2. Add a mask wave texture, plug the height into color 1 and let's set the detail to 15. Add a warmer texture and let's take the distance and plug that into color 2. Now set the scale to 100. Now we need a noise texture, plug the factor into color 1 and into the factor here. And we also need a wave texture. Plug the color here into the into the scale and take the color and plug it into color 2. I think I'm going to set the scale here to 250. By the way, if you want to get these previews here, you can get the note preview add-on through the link in the description. The add-on is currently on sale. Now plug the color here into the normal and add a bump node. Put that here and use the height instead of the normal. I'm going to set the strength to 0.1. Now to make it a little more realistic, I'm going to set the subsurface to 0.01. Basically what this does is it lets the light pass through the object. I usually use this when I want an object to look like it's made of wax for example. Let's also take this color and plug it into the roughness. Save if you haven't already. Now in the render properties go to color management and set the look to a high contrast. I'm going to render it at 128 samples with the noise enabled. Now go to compositing, enable use nodes, add a denoise node, set to accurate and enable denoising data to get these outputs. Now let's go back to layout mode and add an empty plane axis G set to move it up like this. Go into side view and position it around here. Go into camera view. Now go into rendered view and select the camera. In the object data properties, enable depth of field and select the empty. Set the f-step to 0.7 for example. I set it to 1.5. Now set the blades to 16. Let's save again and press F12 to render. 